Holy! <laughs> oh no! The most destructive. Bro, that was a critical hit. Spectacular, <laughs> bro! Oh my god. Whoa. Hey, what up, y'all? It's Normie's coming back at you with a little bit of motherfucking Andor. The finale, season one, episode twelve. The finale, Rick's Road. The best Star Wars show ever. Don't like, at me. I don't care. Yeah. I th I think I'm there with you. Like yeah. Yeah. Clone Wars is great, and at its peak, it's like phenomenal. But like this is the best live action for me. The, yeah, live. The oh yeah, live action. Yeah, let's go there. Yeah, we Clone got another season of Clone Wars. Because because there's a. Uh, other animated Star Wars that we haven't yeah. seen yet, but live action. Let's stick to live action. This is the best one. Well, let me tell you something here. Uh, it's your boy, the Gungan Thunder, Chris Johnson. This is Mom Marquetta. <laughs> <laughs> it's Mickey. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Spidey. I'm the dude who's across the street from the dead mom. Ah, uh, <laughs> uh, so check it out. Right now, everything is about to converge on Ferrix. We're assuming they didn't made uh, Marva a brick, which is a beautiful ceremony. Also, somebody pointed this out in one of the videos I was listening to. They're like, hey, imagine if, you know, all of your dead was made into bricks, and then the Empire occupied one of your brick buildings to do all of their stupid shit in. Wouldn't it feel like they're desecrating a grave? Wouldn't that piss you off mm. endlessly? And it's like, hmm, Empire doesn't know it's about to get fucked, does it? Mm -hmm. I know. Um, I also hope that... Uh, whatever she was trying to do, like opening the like yeah, yeah. hotel stuff, like I hope that will come to play. Yeah, that like you know her, her death, like she was kind of she was gonna do something posthumously like yeah. that. Have you guys seen Michael Clayton the movie? No. no. Okay. Have you Michael Clayton George Clooney? Uh, no, I don't. I don't remember. This crew should watch Michael Clayton after this because uh, I was reading the comments. Tony Gilroy directed Michael Clayton and it is one of the best movies. It's another one of those movies where there's no action but the dialogue is just so okay. in incredible. Yeah. It's about the corporate espionage. Mm -hmm. And it's and just it's got vibes like this I don't imagine yes, slightly. It's Carpets. just on the edge of your seat like oh Hell yeah. my yes. god. I like that. And so uh, yeah, that was that was a good surprise for me. I was like, okay, nice. bet. Like please make more Star Wars. These guys this team needs to make more Star Wars. Like give it to them. Just give it to them. It's Since everyone great. kept bringing up the space wire, I wore my wire outfit today. So. Mm -hmm. I'm all, I'm all Baltimore out and I'm throwing it nice. up for Uh Anyway, <laughs> not a market substitute. Support the OG content. Uh, dead serious. Literally, if you've got friends who aren't watching the show that are into Star Wars, tell them. Push people towards this because we want more Star Wars content like this. Not yeah. just us here, but I assume you guys watch well, it as well. And the way to do that is to you know show Disney that people want to watch it. This is this is getting at least a uh, second season, hopefully. Oh, yeah. But, 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 but I think but, but, it is but. confirmed. And another way we can spread the word is if you hit the like button because that puts our video in front of other people to see. Yes. <laughs> Do it. Only you can prevent season cancellations. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, let's get straight into it. I'm excited. Uh Soldering stuff is fun. It is. Even in a galaxy far, far away. A long, long time ago. What are you building? All right. Who was on the... Cassian. Hold on. Was it? Pretty sure. They got that APB out on them. Oh uh, yeah, everyone wants the money. I spoke to Cassie. We called the shop. Where? No, no, no. Where is he? He wouldn't say. He asked about the funeral. Well, Snitch is listening. It'd be insane to come back now. Why haven't you told him that? This motherfucker. <laughs> this the whole town's full of snitches in and out, bro. Look at her looking like a Sith. Right? <laughs> I need a cloak, man. Cloaks are cool. cool She's got fun. very sharp lines. It makes her look so sinister. Right? She looks like Cruella de I know, man. Yeah, I, she I, does. I, like, I wish I had a sharp face like that. Yeah, just straight bone structure. Just dagger cheekbones. Mm, I'm going to say it's a bomb. Yeah, it's I some mean. sort of a weapon. Feels bomby. You got to bomb the funeral. I could understand it. Not being there for your mom. Have brass in place of stone. Just breaks your heart. Right? Got a feel for Cassie. And no drinking and talking. <laughs> This guy's made super obvious. Mm -hmm. Maybe just one. He about to spill. Yeah, he is. Oh, is there something in the drink? I guarantee you, he's got no idea what's going on. Bank on that. I won't be so sure. Oh. Hey. You know something I don't? Do me a favor. Keep it that way. God damn it. And smart of him for him to mm. not want to know more. Him to not pry. He's gonna buy him another drink and let him spill it. Yeah. Damn it! It's always a loose end. You know what they say, loose cheeks, brown sheets. <laughs> he didn't strip the wire beforehand. How's he gonna make a connection? <laughs> oh, it's his dad. 
Yeah, he's out for revenge. Ooh. Told you. It wasn't Cassian. I saw the back of his hologram head. And it was not a Cassian head. God, building a bomb has to be the most stressful thing on the planet, right? Like, how many people have tried and failed? I don't know. Mon Mothma might have the most stressful job on the planet. She's got the drip, though. Bro, we haven't <laughs> seen the rest of it. No I want to ride like, in that swag. limo, dude. Mm. Her stupid husband. <laughs> this stupid little... What is that? <laughs> Man, Man bun? Mm. You're gambling again. Nonsense. Do you have any idea how tired of this I am? Damn. <laughs> He's like, I can hear it's it all. It's alive. Yeah. <laughs> you can't live without a casino. Fine. Go to Canto Bite. Canto Bite. Do whatever it is you need to do. Not here. She sent him up. This is wrong, Mom. This is people trying to take you down by coming after me. You tell me who's saying this and I'll tell you why. Where would I get the money? That's the question that scares me the most. She sent him up. Oh. Oh. Did she just oh, throw this man underneath man. two buses? She's playing chess on four different boards right now. Oh, she is rather going to sacrifice her husband and her daughter. Fuck him. The bus said, ba <laughs> And then the other one came back, ba <laughs> Put a hood on her no, hat. At least. A mask. Right? He always just walks around just... Fucking no fucking problem. Right? Yeah, at man. home, bro. He shaved his beard, like, definitely changed. The hair is very distinct. He's got the Joe hat from you. Mm. Oh, is that her? Yeah. Here's the thing, Cassian. Oh, the man sees everything. He's more blessed than girls. People don't look down the way they should. No house that way. Eyes open, possibilities everywhere. I'm assuming that was Clem's brick. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah. Marva's not turned into a brick yet. And that brick was that had like moss and stuff on it. Remember this. Freedom is a pure idea. It occurs spontaneously and without instruction. Random acts of insurrection are occurring constantly throughout the galaxy. There are whole armies. I have no idea that they've already enlisted in the cause. <laughs> and even the smallest act of insurrection pushes our lines forward. Well, he's just planning to go on a blaze of glory, I think. The Imperial need for control is so desperate because it's so unnatural. Tyranny requires constant effort. I need this podcast. Authority is right. Special. Oppression is the mask of fear. <laughs> Remember that. Oppression is the this. mask of fear. One single thing will break the siege. Yeah. Remember this. Try. All right, homie's got poetry over here. Datake. All right, Peter. Datake. What time is the funeral? Well, they asked for midday. We pushed it back two hours. Gave them a max of 30 people. The daughters pushed back, so we've upped it to 40. Your control positions here, here, and here. We'll have snipers in a containment unit. There. Containment, yes. Snipers, no. I want him taken alive. Just out in the open talking about this. Anyone could be watching y'all. Well, they're on a balcony. Like, damn. Did you see all those ISB motherfuckers up there pointing and shit? They're trying to kill us all. But. <laughs> Is she more angry about him lying or the possibility of gambling debts? Hard to say. Hey. One Mothma is of great interest here. They've made some odd banking moves recently. This would certainly explain it. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh, damn, they've been my Damn, man. That's fucked up. Uh, and she knows that the dragon oh, is yeah. a mole. <laughs> yeah, she's, she mentioned it. That's the best when you know there's a mole. <laughs> I will kick, 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 kill everyone. <laughs> Where is he? Huh? Who's that? They're hiding in the vents. It's the uh, shipyard dude. He's a good friend. This must be the tunnel she was talking about. I wanted her to live with me. I know. They came together. She told me she should be in our cash. They told her I was coming back. Stop. I never should have left that morning. Stop. She told me you'd say all this. <laughs> Tell him none of this is his fault. It was already burning. He's just the first spark of the fire. <laughs> Tell him he knows everything he needs to know and feels everything he needs to feel. Could have said this shit on the phone, though. When the day dog. comes those two pull together, he will be an unstoppable force for good. Mm. Damn. It's coming from someone who truly believes in Tell him, right? I love him more than anything he could ever do wrong. <laughs> Vix, we still got friends in the hotel. She was alive three days ago. Why are they keeping her? She must know something. <laughs> Just to leave her there. You're gonna take on a full garrison? Goddamn right. Yeah, I'll take care of Marva. You take care of yourself. It's too late for that. <laughs> I'm already off the rails. <laughs> Cassie and Wick. This you brought the fat boy fucker. with you too. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have called him fat. I'm fat. I feel like an asshole. <laughs> you brought the big man with you too. 
Shit up. Well, he, what I want to adventure? He fucked shit up last time. Coming back to fuck it up again. <laughs> the terrible two. Ah, uh, they're best friends. No. <laughs> they're oh. best buds. I do not approve of this friendship. <laughs> this could be a, a, a well, cookie. Buddy cop. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Dumb and dumber. <laughs> Cyril and Why Bull. Why is he? No. No one for Cyril and Bull. Cyril and Bull. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. I was thinking Cyril and Milk. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, quit snitching! <laughs> what they paying you? This guy sucks. How long do we have before the festivities start? A few hours. You'll hear the anvil. I'll have a look around. <laughs> well, that's the anvil. Oh, boy. Damn, everybody stopped. What's going on? So that shit's early, bro. What's happening? Just like when he fucked with them last time, man. I love this. Space trumpet. I'm going to play the space baritone. <laughs> <laughs> Space atone, I assume. What's going on? Ooh. Space flute? Space clarinet? What's different about them? <laughs> Space missile. The daughters. Ah, oh, I'm so scared. I feel like if Luthen had a cane, people would look at him less. I don't <laughs> know why. I just think that. Yeah, he's just. That hood is like. Anybody in a hood is like. <laughs> very easy to spot. Oh. This is great. The bombs on the drum? Oh, fuck. That's the kid, right? Oh, no. I think... Oh, is it just in his right hand? No. I think it's a separate stick. For when he gets to whacking later. Oh, look at those space French horns. Bro, is he gonna kill people with him? Like, is he gonna kill himself? Oh, no, there, this there. is the kid. Okay. We don't know the kid! Sorry, he just, he just looked different. <laughs> he just looked similar. He had the... the Mickey is racist cannon. He had curly hair. <laughs> Mickey, you have curly hair. How I know, you? there's not very many of us. Any so. of us could have the bomb. <laughs> well, he's still in the crowd. Someone set us up the bomb. Yes. But same problem, is he planning on like killing others with him? That's kind of fucked. Six is going rogue constantly. I'm just not seeing it. They started. They're coming from all over town. I want everything out here. Show a force immediately. Mm. Like they have permit for 40 people. Well, fuck that shit. <laughs> These all look like fighters. <laughs> right. I feel like people are just about to... Ooh, what if they're instrument guns? <laughs> just... <laughs> <laughs> that would be so sweet. <laughs> Freak out more. Scrambling. Oppression requires constant effort. <laughs> look at us, we're just calm and... And these guys are just... Yeah, there he is. There's the boy. Luthen. Hide your face. Grow a beard. Where's the disguises? Do you think he figured it out? Seeing Luthen is probably, he's probably uh, here These to kill two me. are the wild cards. <laughs> ne neither side is expecting them. Coming back to the place where you fuck shit up. You found him. I want twice as much and a ride out of him when it's over. Where is he? Pretend you're arresting me. Hey, what do you think you're doing? Hey, move it. <laughs> Damn, he was quick with that. <laughs> Pretend you were. <laughs> Fuck yeah, like, waiting for this. Before he. You anyway. <laughs> before he finishes the sentence. These fuckers. Serial walking by. Yeah, what did you think was going to happen? <laughs> I hope that's the, that. That's it. <laughs> they just have to go back home now. Serial <laughs> just get punked all day. <laughs> Bro, this is a hell of a going away party right here. Yes. That's it. more than forty people. Well. They have 40 daughters. <laughs> He's seen her. We're wasting I've time. I've got a on the terrace up there. No, I need him alive. Don't make me say it again. Oh, damn. Dude, that would kind of be an honor to get to carry her brick. All right. Yeah, I'd be too scared to do that. What? Oh, uh, uh, yeah. It's range. Are they blocking where they're supposed to go? No, I think they're just like boxing them in, maybe. I like everybody's like ceremonial uniform. I'm about to fucking cry. This is sweet. Mm -hmm. Damn, she don't even get to be there. Aww. Nobody's watching her now because everybody's focused mm -hmm. here. So mm -hmm. this is a good distraction. So she's here. You thirsty bitch! <laughs> Sit still. <laughs> so such an. Idiot. I hope you just get like <laughs> shot in the leg. A, a black bag put over your face and mm -hmm. just never seen from again. <laughs> Oh, baby. Ooh. Oh my god, this is like... Let's go! This right. is like a battle, dude. The drone's about to hit that. <laughs> yeah, 
they are blocking yeah. their way. Oh, they're, they're gonna, gonna have to move. Oh, yeah, they said fuck your permit. Let's go. Bimo's leading them. I'm so cute. He's part of the family. I think they are ready to die. I don't yeah. think he's the only one that brought a bomb. I like how the music's getting hyper, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, man, what's going to happen? If y'all ain't scared, y'all shouldn't be. All right. What? Oh, my God. My name is Marva Karassi, and I'm honored to stand before you. Honored to be a daughter of Therix, honored to be worthy of the stone. I was six, I think. First time I touched a funerary stone. Heard our music, felt our history, holding my sister's hand as we walked all the way from Fountain Square. Fountain Square gang! Gang, 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 gang. I was always eager, always waiting to be inspired. I remember every time it happened, every time the dead lifted me. Everybody's thinking it. With their truth. And now I'm dead. I yearn to lift you. How so? Because I want to shine, even be remembered. It's because I want you to go on. I want Ferrix to continue. In my waning hours, that's what comforts me most. But I fear for you. We've been sleeping. Who? Get woke. We had each other and they left us alone. We kept Bruh. the trade lanes open Bruh. and they left us alone. But we were sleeping. There is a wound that won't heal at the center of the galaxy. We let it grow, and now it's here. It's here, and it's not visiting anymore. <laughs> the Empire is a disease that thrives in darkness. It is never more alive than when we sleep. <laughs> it's easy for the dead to tell you to fight, and maybe it's true. Maybe fighting's useless. Perhaps it's too late. Oh, man. Yeah. Let's go. Start. Fight the empire. Woo! That's oh, it. You That's it. Yeah, no. <laughs> Who better beat your ass? Oh, fuck you. Brazos said one to the chest. <laughs> God damn, throw it a brick. We at it. You motherfuckers kicking oh the dog. God. Boy, what's wrong with you? Oh, you don't, have, you don't even see it coming. <laughs> yeah, fuck it oh, up. Take his shit. Today was his. Oh, hey, no. good. <laughs> it was his last day at work today. I don't oh, care. Oh my god, <laughs> bro! He slapped that trooper with Marva's brick. It's gal. In a way, Marva smacked that trooper. She would have right? been proud. Yeah, you ain't holding shit. Yes. <laughs> More. Oh my god. Stop now! <laughs> that shit popped. It was a fucking powder cake. It was just waiting. And then he kicked the robot. Aw, Beaks, baby. I dreamt you came back. We gotta get out of here. I was here. Wasn't she great? Is that how Cassian got in through the sewers that she said she was opening? Yeah, like just, the... Yeah, he came into the, 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 the tunnels, yeah. They're doing what they do in riots where... Yeah, they, they take, try like, to get take you, one yeah. by one, yeah. There's a whole entire video about how to disperse a riot, which would be a good video for you to watch, so you can understand how they disperse a riot. We need to take one of those shields. What are you going to do? He's like, fuck it. Oh. Shug it! Shug it! Shug it! Oh, this fucker's about to say. Woo! Damn! Great! A big ass bomb. Yo. That Go was but that game. was one of the biggest. Oh! 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 Holy <laughs> oh, no! The most destructive. Bro, that was a critical hit. Spectacular, <laughs> bro. Oh my god. Fuck yeah. But that tank was one of the biggest biggest threats. No he one could, knew he did that. He could not have planned it going like that. At all. It could no. not have gone that well on purpose. 
the oh, oh fuck. Fight, little man. You got to fight now. Oh my oh, no. god. He got a metal arm? Where'd he get that from? Hey. Uh, Wait a minute. Stormtroopers are never this fucking accurate. <laughs> well, they're two feet away, so. You motherfuckers. Yes! Take one of their guns. That's the guy that was talking. Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, no! Because he's giving his robot PTSD and I don't like it. His name is B2Emo. <laughs> it's just like I got one job and I guess it's killing you. You. What are you doing here? <laughs> <laughs> Andy, Bitch, you all. thought. <laughs> Bitch, you thought. Oh! oh yes. Some extra. Oh, that's amazing. Take a weapon. Does he have a gun? Yep. Yep. Loot. Loot. Nah. Not even. She put that shit on. She's her. Got if I had a gun, people might expect me to do she things. She is unstoppable, okay? Bro. She don't need no gun. Come on, Bimo. I love that we're trying to save Bimo. Oh! Oh! oh. 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 <laughs> 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 You're fucking embarrassed. This man plays Modern Warfare. Oh, For that sure. guy. Wait, he's Fuck dead. him. Snitch ass snitch. Oh! Jesus, yeah. calm down. <laughs> she caught a rock. Good. Okay. And a knee. He's like, I ain't fucking stopping. I got this one guy's job. Not make it. Nah, they're Someone's about to... going after him. I thought they were gonna take the tower down. Break his fucking head. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you sent one dude up there to handle it. Right? <laughs> He can barely see out of his stupid <laughs> helmet, so I kicked him off of this thing. Yes! Oh, no. She's ours now. It's a wrap for you. No, oh, it's course, Cyril. Fucking Cyril. He's gonna save her. Oh, no, that's them. No, it no, is it's Cyril. Cyril. I saved you! You! I've been following you. <laughs> Creep off. I know what your panties taste like. What? <laughs> uh -huh. What's happening? Uh, what does it feel like to be scared, bitch? I should say thank you. You don't have to. Oh, you guys are gross. They are. He's getting a promotion. The most functional <laughs> couple in the galaxy. <laughs> <laughs> this guy is having a crisis of Bro, <laughs> his entire philosophy. <laughs> I'm having fucking 2020 flashbacks over here. Uh, oh, yes. Since, since that funeral started. That looks like a cat carrier. Pretty sure it is. Bleeding. It's not my blood. No, it's nothing. It's not mine. One of them is dying. Santa's <laughs> dying. Come on, guys. You guys are zero. Till we get out of here. I think he dies. Yeah. yeah. No, no. You go now. We'll forget it. Guys, why don't you both go? Well, it's Cassie and come to put uh, Bix on the plane. He actually saved somebody. Come on. Go, 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 go. Can they make it to Gamji Moon? You ever make it out of here? Go. You're not coming? Hell no. I got shit to do. They're not coming. Be more. Be more. Never got to see you. Take care of I'm counting on you. With a robot. You always say that. And you always come through. Get them out of here! He'll find us. Cassian will find us. <laughs> I will. Daddy Cassian. Well, homie, you make one hell of a bomb. We're putting you on the squad. Boy. I'll find you. <laughs> Season two. I can take this. It's 210. I know. Like, I hope nothing bad happens to this shit, man. Because we want to. Not be too emo. I need him. Be too emo. Now that Endor isn't in the ship, I'm really worried. Yeah, right? Like, that's when I'm like. There's no way they do that. Holy. Look at the waist pinch, the colors. <clears throat> I've always loved blue and gold, too. Like, they have all the blues. Yeah. Wow. The girl looks like alien. She looks like she has another brain in her hair. Mm -hmm. Damn. 
she did it. Yeah. So how does Mon explain their visit to him that she's accusing him of gambling? Like he, she still needs to cover up isn't the trace. He, but isn't he like who the fuck are these people? Like, yeah, she's, just get, but, I, she's getting like a backup just in case like the banker doesn't come through, you know, or like it's still not clean trace. No, and because of the but I'm saying because of their old traditions, the daughter's super into it yeah, anyway. Yeah, the daughter is. So into she's got to like, yeah. oh, our kid's really into it. So I thought I'd set her up with somebody type of thing that she can just say to get away with. Every <laughs> evac, full stealth. Full stealth. Someone there shouldn't be. Yeah, I don't know. All right. It's Cassian. Cyril, Daedra. That would that would deactivated. That would be their arc. They're trying to find Axis. It didn't say anything. It normally says something back to him. Hey. <laughs> Sup, you son of a oh. bitch. You came here to kill me, didn't you? Yes. Well, it turns out I uh, might need you for another mission. Then. Mm -hmm. What game is this? No game. Kill me. Or take me in. You ain't got shit to lose. Full rebellion. I know. He's a great asset. There's a fan theory that Luthen might be a former Jedi. Hmm. Yeah, he did have a kyber crystal a and kyber, fucking lightsaber. He had a kyber to give him. He has lightsaber technology on his ship. Hmm. No, I want so much more. Yeah. I want Whoa. Yeah, I so want much more. Room, I mean, there's so much potential for a so season two. So much more. There's Benjamin. no way they don't. Yeah, Stick around that. for this after credit. That's... Yeah. Oh, no. Did they give us 12 episodes, literally the most of any of the Star Wars show, and still leaving us literally wanting more? The best live action. Just pe just period. <laughs> this is the only thing better than this is like the original trilogy because that was that created this universe. But other than that, this is like the best Star Wars. Yeah, but what we've come to now at this point as far as expanding on the universe, like yeah. it is I can't imagine that they thought this from day one. You know what I mean? Yeah. To no, be this far. No way. If anything, yeah. my biggest complaint is that it didn't actually end and I just want more. Yeah. Which I could see why they would do it. They might have been worried that ending it uh, could have been like, well, you guys don't really need another season, but... If I mean, it, it kind of ended. Like, the 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 event, the funeral was a success. Yeah. yeah. It started the rebellion damn near. Yeah. She said, oh, yeah. fuck I, these I've been bastards. doing my best to tell everybody about the show. I tell my neighbor about it. <laughs> I was like, you gotta watch it, man. He's like, I don't know. I have a bad... And you know what he said? He's like, I don't know, man. I got a bad taste from uh, Book of Boba Fett and Obi-Wan. Uh, yeah. And I was like, yeah. trust me. Yeah. Trust me. Yeah. <laughs> So Bill, Look at Boba Fett was such dog shit compared to this. Bo, 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 and bo, I bo, like the bo, first bo, three bo, episodes, <laughs> but compared to this, it's nothing. Yeah, this is a absolutely top tier. Man, it's Marvel's uh, Marvel's fucking speech. Yeah. So if I could do it all again, I'd have been fighting these bastards since day one, and then the brick that she'd been laid in got slapped against someone's <laughs> face hard enough to make the motherfuckers do a flip. <laughs> <laughs> I love when she said that the... Uh, the Empire is most awake when we are asleep. Mm -hmm. She called that it a was... wound that will not heal. Perfect. Yep. At the center of the galaxy. And I mean, the same thing that uh, Nemix was saying too about like how tyranny requires like constant doing. And it's like, yeah. so your job is to be fighting back. That when you go docile and when you let it happen, that's when they're winning the most. I want the Nemec podcast. Yeah. You yeah. know, it's, you know, there's at least uh, something written out. Where there's a full manifesto, there has to be. I want to read it. I want to read his full entire manifesto. But the way this show was set up with like the three different arcs, like it almost feels like we got several seasons in one. You yeah, know? I feel that. It, uh, yeah, it's just so good. I guess what I really wanted was I wanted Cyril and Deidre to lose harder. Mm -hmm. And yeah, for me, they yeah. didn't. But that yeah. also sets them up to be foils in season two. <laughs> to like, I mean. They they're so pompous and they think they're the shit, but they don't know. Yeah, that that's what it is. And I really like her. Perf I don't like the character, but her performance yeah. is so stellar. Like, She's Angelica from Rugrats. Yeah. Where it's like, <laughs> you were so good at making me hate you that I questioned my own existence. <laughs> and she's like she's like far gone, but Cyril. I don't. He's just misguided right now. You know what I mean. Cyril like, is just. Uh, she's she's full empire, and he's kind of like I like order, but he's like just Dedra. How I I, I felt I, I was kind of gonna give him a pass in the first few episodes where I was like I feel like he's misguided, but now like there's been no, enough done. Yeah, yeah, but like he still he feels like a victim because when they were trying to do like end quote unquote good thing on Ferrix and it like blew up in their face, mm -hmm. he feels like that was in that was unjust. 
Yeah. But like after seeing this, I don't know if he will feel the same. He's gonna way. want more order. He's gonna be like, yeah. did you see how they responded? Yeah, exactly. Which is so dumb. Oh, there we. Go. Oh, we get to find out what we were building. It is. Who the, called it? Is, is it, it the, the Death, Death Star? Star? I did. I yeah. called it. Upsetting. It is the Death Star. Upsetting. Oh my wow. God! It's the it's the, the shooty it's the shooty portion. Yeah. Bruh. Bruh. He helped build it. Oh no, yeah, the actual middle part, the explodey part. <laughs> Andor, it's like the Andor logo. <laughs> oh, oh, that is so that sick. Oh. oh, that's like helping to build your own oh. cage and dig your own grave. Alderaan, y'all, no. Uh, grab the fun. grab the mouse keyboard situation. Wow. I know we said it and we kind of guessed it, but that's fucking gross. Yeah. Wow, what a finale! Yeah, man, I, I my, literally, I, I just want more. That's it. Yeah, uh, that's I, it. It's like a five course meal that at the end I'm like, oh, the the one more though. The <laughs> speech, like I just love when they were panning around to the people and it's just the the, the looks is all you needed to see. Getting madder and madder, just, just more fed up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I. I my favorite part about this episode is that Nemec and Marva, even though they, you know, sacrificed their life, their their sacrifice and their words still mattered enough for this to get started. Mm -hmm. You know, like even after death, whatever legacy they left behind, it still mattered. So yeah. I mean, it kind of I mean, it, it was it was a pointless death, especially with Nemec. Like he shouldn't have died, but yeah. it's still his words carried over, mm -hmm. and that's great. Uh, it is kind of poetic that even though like he was helping to uh, unknowingly build the Death Star, that he is also helps to take it down. He's yeah. end so it. it is. I wonder he if he know. ever. I wonder he doesn't if he ever know finds any out. of it. He doesn't know. No. That he, he doesn't know. He, he doesn't know he helped build it, and mm -hmm. he doesn't know that he helped destroy it. Like he'll never know. Oh, those. it also kills yeah. him. Yeah. 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 He also built the machine. Oh my. Yeah. I kind of love that the show does that, but yeah. Oh my wow. god. Yeah, dude. It's, it's like a, that's why I thought that it was the Death Star. So like mm, the go is a good poetry. call. Yeah. In a, it was in, a good call. In the fascist regime, right? The people are the ones who eventually vote in a government or like help these people get to power and that power like turns on them. Yeah. Right? And like Cassian like helps make this power that he doesn't even mm -hmm. know. He's being conscripted to do I mean sure he could have fought in that, but it's still gonna get made, but then like it literally turns around like and fucks him up. And fucks up the galaxy in a way that he doesn't know. He doesn't know what's going to happen to Alderaan. I think I read that like there's like 18 billion people in Alderaan when it gets mm -hmm. exploded. It's like a number that's inconceivable mm -hmm. to just imagine that. Oh yeah, 18 billion people just up and died because just we built this machine. Like you can't even fucking conceive that. And it's like it's so big and it's so grand, and none of that matters because it's all about like these little people fighting in these little tiny situations. It's about all the Ferrixes that are happening right now that we don't know about. It's about all the Mon Mothmas and all the Luthans that are working behind the scenes that we don't know about. Mm -hmm. And, like, I love that that is, like, the story. What did he say? He was like, there's people fighting in a rebellion right now that don't even know it. And, like, mm -hmm. they're all just, like, sick and tired or, or of this Or they shit. just haven't been, like, you know, they do, like, small, like, acts of, like, resistance that aren't, that maybe they don't think are big, but they will have a ripple effect. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Which mm -hmm. is tight. This is good shit. It was all fun and games, so buddy kicked the robot. Like, I yeah. know! What the fuck? It was just right. building. Right, like we were being all calm, we were doing our thing, you know it's a tense situation, and then you came fucking around, and you found out. <laughs> and if I'm gonna <laughs> speak on a person who's been to two protest events that turned into riots, I will say that in each of those times, it was really like the people were like, yeah, we're mad, and we're pissed off. And then the fucking cops were like, let's take it one step further. Yeah, it's like... It's tear like, gas went <laughs> off and then it was shit storm after that. It's like, yeah, oh. and it's like, but like, the one I went, the one I was in, like, it was also like a good time. Like, everybody was kind of hanging out and like, there was literally people with pets. There were like disabled people in wheelchairs. Like, there, uh, uh, there were kids. Mm. And then suddenly there was like a flashbang because we stayed 30 minutes past permitted fucking time. Yeah, it's like just they like... literally threw it into the crowd of kids, pets, and disabled people. There, I mean, there's the, the famous picture of like the students that are already, or I don't know if they were cuffed or not, but they're like students are sitting on the ground. And that one dude just. And they just. Just walk in that pepper spray and I'm like, <laughs> just you guys, making sure. <laughs> and I mean, I do. Careful. I like all of those drawings to like too much authority and too much of this state overreaching like 
it's all relevant today. We all lived in 2020. We all seen it happen, but it's also relevant around the world and all these different protests. I, Hold I on, you're on your phone while we're talking. I also yeah. think that a lot of people that get into like authoritative, authoritative positions like that, like police officers, and I'm not going to say this blanketing all police officers. There's good police officers out there, but I feel like a lot of them were brought up in like an environment where they're just like they're ready for something or they're looking Oh, of course, or, their training or, is or they're flawed. they're looking for something. Like they're yeah. looking yeah. for a fight. They, like, they're yeah. literally trained like, to be paranoid. Yeah, like it's not Yeah, man. I, like I, 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 have, I when I you're call, a hammer, everything's a nail. I literally yeah. called the cops yesterday uh, because there's one of the houses in our street like the alarm has been going off for the last two days. Mm. And I was like, okay, like, what if, what if someone's just unconscious in the yeah. house or something? You know what I mean? So I called nine one one and I told them, and then they were like, okay, all right, we're gonna go check it out. What's your name? And I was just like, <laughs> I don't know if I will go that far. <laughs> and like, Here's the address. And in the end, like, I gave them like my name and my address, but I was just like, the, just the thought, the fact that I have this thought, like. How can you use this information I hope against this me? This doesn't like turn on me yeah. for like trying to do a good thing and have like a wellness check on a yeah, neighbor. Yeah, for sure. Neighbors, like it's just the fact that like that comes to mind is a problem. Yeah. Um, no, for sure. Yeah. Um, Ferrix is probably one of my favorite stops in the galaxy. I love the colors. I love the tradition. Mm -hmm. I love that the hammer man Stone did not in die. Sky. In fact, in he got a <laughs> nice stormtrooper kill. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this I, is Ferris. I was, I was hoping he was gonna like hammer him in the face. Yeah. He had two hammers. I thought he was Just like, coming, yeah. Oh my god! Oh, I thought he was gonna fuck the game up. I think that man. Also, uh, the show pulled some of not some of his punches, but like when Cassian shoots that dude in the chest, it cuts away. When yeah. Cynthia stabs that guy, her hand doesn't come back covered in blood. Yeah. They don't even show the blood when she's like, "There's blood on you." Like we don't get, we don't see any of that like disney is still staying yeah, as disney brown still... but with that they're able to essentially give you a show like like if i was teaching civics i'd be like well in our civics discussion we're going to talk about cassie <laughs> people would be like why and i'm like we're going to talk about civil unrest uh, and how an authoritative power doesn't know how to hold on to it and look at how things can go too far I, like th that's what i'm saying that's a really good production team and a writing team mm -hmm. that can come in and even with the limitations put on them they can still be like we're still gonna find a way to make you go ah! like, yeah. even though we're not going to show anything really but like yeah and i love it. how synth i was kind of like oh my god what are you going to do to me <laughs> she pulled the carol he got closer because he's all big and shit and then he was just like is that a knife inside of me is right. that <laughs> He's like, oh, it feels cold. Can I just get Harry Carey? You just laid him down and then closed the door. Didn't even I, take his shit. I love it. I think it's how it's with like how you the jump is because it's so sudden. Like they're quick. They're quick. Yeah. So like I didn't expect him to. He dropped dude and then shoots him almost like using the body as a silencer. Like, yeah. What the fuck was that, dude? And I love. I think the thing love. about um. Cinta too is that she's a woman, right? And so like she knows like physically, if we physically get into a fight, I might not be able to take him out. So her right. literal move is like the best way for me to win a fight is to stab you before you can do and, anything. And she also went into in. a building to like yeah. bottleneck. And him. like he didn't even know, you know what I mean? Like in his head, <laughs> all the way up until he got stabbed, he was like, I'm in complete control of this situation. <laughs> and she was just like the second, like, if you're close enough to hurt me, like, you're dead. Uh, and that, uh, you're not going to get that chance. And that, that's fucking terrifying. I'm right? in complete control of this. And that's another part of writing. Like, good writing isn't just dialogue. It's, like, mm -hmm. also, like, the character direction. and The like, body the, language. The body language. It's, like, there's so much story told when there's no words at all. It's just so, yeah. so good. Yeah. Like, the faces in the crowd. Whenever. Yeah, it's so good. I would also say that, like, just, like, expands, like, this show has so many strong female characters mm -hmm. um and even even female characters that are like in distress like bix or marva who passed on like they still got like they, they're not like uh damsels in distress you know what i mean they mm -hmm. still Hell have yeah. their own power marva she already opened up the sewer told cassie exactly. about that so he's able to do that but then at the end she literally was just like because it reminded me of uh, so you guys don't watch Handmaid's Tale. I think we explained to Spidey a little mm -hmm. bit about what it's about. There's a phrase in uh, Handmaid's Tale. What's it? Don't let the bastards get you down. Mm -hmm. The bastards talking about the state, talking about Gilead and there. And just when she's like, I would be fighting these bastards. Like it's like the inglorious bastards. Like it's just mm -hmm. words that people use. I feel like in these situations that bastards is kind of one of them terms. It's like eh, whatever. But then you see it thrown around in a lot of these different properties about people like fighting fascism and shit. And it's like I don't know. That word kind of hits harder for me now. Yeah. She's like, I've been fighting these bastards since the fucking day one. It's like, I feel that. So what, I feel that. <laughs> what's the deal with Daedra and Cyril? <laughs> yeah, because she was... 
Yeah, she's well, uncomfortable. She's Honestly, I personally, I think she's like maybe like thankful to him for saving her life, but yeah. that's the extent of her appreciation for him. She yeah. wants him out of her presence. I think he's she, fucking creepy. Yeah, like, oh, yeah. this the, dude is everywhere. The way <laughs> like, her brain so works, creepy. though, I, yeah. she had to just calculate everything. Yeah, he's been like, stalking me. This is a bit of a problem. He just saved my life. I could use this. That's what I'm like, thinking. She's gonna use. She's his gonna ass use like a him dog. for sure. She's gonna straight uh dingy his ass. Yeah. <laughs> she should be like, you wanna yeah, go out there? You wanna go figure you out what's going on? You want to touch titty? He's <laughs> sip, sip man nine thousand. <laughs> like, I am here to sip. This guy doesn't even look like he like he probably hasn't touched a woman in who knows how long. He's just like, do you wanna? <laughs> Do you want to play a Deirdre in a skit and Cyril just keeps popping up with the most innocuous things? Like I want to show up like for the first time making... I've ever met you and just be like, I did all your laundry. And you're like, we don't even know each other. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like you're making coffee, you turn around, you turn back and he's like pouring creamer into it. <laughs> That'd be good. Just he's fucking cutting your pancakes for you. Oh right? my God. I, yeah, I, I want him to, he's already domesticated to her. She didn't even know. She's literally going to come home and he's going to be like, I painted the house for you. She's like, how do you know where I live? How did you have this time? And how do you know my favorite color is lilac number nine? <laughs> it's like, I know. You just know I got you. So baby. creepy. God, yeah. Cyril is. Cyril, man. Cyril, I still, and once again. Cyril like, is like a, the, the, the nice guy. You know Yo, man. He's like, I'm a nice guy. I don't know why yeah. people don't like me. I don't understand I why she nice won't. things for you. I'm like, bro. He, he, he's like aptly named too, because Cyril, just like those sounds. creepy name. Those yeah. sounds together just Cyril sounds. Figures. Cyril like it just, She's going to wake just up sounds like and his Cyril. whole mouth is going to be around her foot to keep it <laughs> <up>. <laughs> He's gonna be like, oh, sorry, didn't mean to wake you. Right? <laughs> and like, where did you come from? I'm in a spaceship. How did you get it? <laughs> um, but all right, so Cyril's story, we are seeing him being radicalized from the other end, right? Mm -hmm. So he doesn't have the station he wants in his life, so he probably wants more power. He did have a job that he thought he was big shit on, went to go do a thing that he thought was right. He fucked up, right? Because the Empire keeps being like, hey, these are the things we're supposed to do, but when you're working in those systems, those people still aren't doing those things, really. When the, like, the chief of the cops was like, they were doing some shit they weren't supposed to, we're going to leave that alone. And for Cyril, he's like, well, that's wrong. I need to do what's right. And he was fucking wrong about that. It's put him on his path. And I think for him, he just wants more power, more order. And he also sees Deidre as this woman, right? This thing of his affection that has mm -hmm. all this power and all this order and all this command. And he can still show up to save her. And he's just like, ah, mm -hmm. I did it. And it's just like, like, he's at the beginning of his story, right? He's where Cassian was, like, episode one. Mm. And like I think next season we might see him doing a lot and being and saying a lot and being. Yeah, show. just. Uh, oh, yeah, oh go sorry, ahead. go ahead. I just have a stupid joke. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say like going back to uh, episode one and like uh, what it said in the manifesto, like every action pushes us forward. This really started with two security guards fucking with Cassian that they shouldn't have been doing, and it just like doing. that. And he stood up for himself, and it snowballed into uh -huh. Aldani. Which, <laughs> like, Damn! Like, it, it really started with that tiny spark, and it snowballed, it and here we are. <laughs> like, uh, so, but yeah. also, like the entire second half of the show was just. Uh, jaywalking arrest. Right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, uh, yeah like, that, that's another thing. Like the whole prison thing. Like it started from a small so thing small. that yeah. snowballs into something if big. And then there was no way out. One way out. He'd have just been doing space coke in space Miami and partying, and he wouldn't be that here. That prison shit up. would still he be running. He would have blown up the Death Star if y'all had left him alone in Miami. That's all you had to do. But instead, you fucking beach troopers want to be like, Damn. you're running with your friends? Uh, These guys look like your kind. Six years. Like, well, it's like you um, poured the gasoline on yourself and lit the match. I did want to <laughs> say also that, um, thankfully, we don't really have protests going on right now. We have a somewhat stable environment in the United States. But it's a stable era. Can't really say that about the rest of the world. Yeah. And this really reminded me of you know what's happening in um, Iran right now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What was, what was the, you said something about a funeral? Oh, um, yeah. yeah, so there was, so what, th th what sparked the r this, like, these protests and the revolution is there was this one girl who was arrested for her hijab, her hijab right. being loose and like mm -hmm. showing a little bit of hair. Um, and they executed her. She died in custody. She died in custody. So they executed her. Um, and that funeral was attended by like thousands of people mm -hmm. turned into pissed. a protest, turned into a riot. Like Women multiple are... people have been sentenced to death for like just stupid crimes like 
uh, was it a uh, an affront to being, God or something? Being an affront to God or affront to nature or something mm-hmm. like morals? How the people are getting punished for moral crimes and shit. Um, like, wow. And her name was Masa Amini. Mm-hmm. She was Kurdish. Damn, that's wild. And, and that shit's like going down now. And like literally, like look at this funeral here at the end. Also. Oh, I hate to be the one to say it too, but like the U.S., we have bombed funerals. Our, we have bombed. Oh, weddings. we have. We've just been like, I yeah. think the guy's there. Shoot it up, and like, yeah. it, it's. I'm sorry. I know that it's a weird thing to bring up, but literally, it's like one to one. Like we're yeah. watching this. We're watching about how to not let this authoritarian power rise. Like, I don't know what's been the point of Star Wars from the fucking get go. Were you always rooting for the Empire, or were you rooting for the fucking rebels? Like, it's always been there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's always been there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Aren't a lot of like Iranian women like? protesting the hijab now, oh yeah right? like cutting their hair yeah. and shit burning them people are because like there out. was a time like i mean like back in like the 60s 60s yeah. 70s like they were very progressive yep. and then it, it all went backwards yeah you know why i mean i'm not gonna say it what <laughs> the united states mm-hmm. oh uh, <laughs> yeah what no well, um, listen, enough with the politics. Guys, let us know what you think about this show. Let us know what more you want to see from Andor. Uh, we think it's been a great ride. My literal only complaint I'm gonna is that I want this. more. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm really going to rewatch this. I go back to episode one for sure. Yeah. Um, shoot, man. I guess uh, let us know what you think. It's been a fun ride. Tell your friends. Hit the like button so more people see our video. <laughs> T- tell everybody. We'll Bye. see you at the next one. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Thanks for watching Andor with the Normies. Check us out on Patreon for early access and uncut content. Special shout out to our super patrons, Joe, Jacob, Georgia, Raga, and Keyboard Junkie. And we will see you all next time.